So, we've all done weird stuff as kids. Whether it be biting your toenails, rolling around in the mud, putting gum under your desk and kitchen tables. Actually, I'm pretty sure some of y'all still do those things, you nasty bitch. But we're not here to talk about basic things we did as kids. Oh, no, no, no. We are here to talk about how I was hands down the weirdest kid in the United States of America. I'm almost positive that if there was a contest of how weird your child is, I'd get the grand prize. Also, most of these stories mentioned are recollections from my mom and grandma. Now, onto the first story. The earliest memory I have is being spoiled by my grandmas. Now, all grandmas spoil their grandkids usually, especially if it's their first one that they had. I'm lucky enough to be the oldest out of six, which meant that I got all the special treatment before everybody else. Now, one of my grandmas was very loving and knew how it was to raise the girl babies because she had three daughters, one of them being my mom. Now, my other grandma was just as loving and caring, but in contrast, she only had two boys, one being my dad, but she always wanted a little girl. And when I popped out, she fell in love. I kid you not, this woman basically snatched me out of my mom's arms and claimed me as her own. I stayed with her in my summers and I guess this is where all my weirdness began. She would buy me these pink and white frou-frou dresses and every time I go with her, she convinced me that I was a princess. And over time, I actually believed it. And what was I princess of, you might ask? Well, everything. And still am. Who gonna check me? She absolutely hated it when other adults would kiss me. So she'd tell me, princesses don't let commoners kiss them on the cheeks. You don't let them kiss them at all. This was some brainwashing shit going down. To which I proceeded to make people kiss me on the back of my hand, <laughs> like any true princess would. I would literally go into children's church, sit in the chairs like it was my throne and like force all the kids to be my peasants. If an adult came up to me and was like, ah, oh, you're the cutest little thing in the world. And? Uh, and a beautiful princess. You damn right, bitch. And I was too young to understand that what I was doing was being a spoiled little brat. Like I have a line of kids ready to give me their snacks during recess time. And it wasn't because I was a bully. I was not a bully, but it was because I convinced them that I was a princess too. <laughs> Trust me, they wanted to do it. They wanted to give me their snacks. They wanted to starve during recess but everybody being impressionable little five-year-olds actually believed I was a princess too. I was literally pimping these kids out for snacks, dude. I was actually more like a con man. I'd be like, okay, Gina, Billy's mom gave him snack money on Thursday, but he still owes me for that Kit Kat I let him borrow last month. I expect a three Debbie cake profit, 75.25, and if he's short, you know what to do. I'm telling you, I ran the playground. Nobody did anything without my say-so. I wasn't that bad though. I wasn't that bad. Another weird thing as a kid was waking up and deciding what I was going to be that day. One day in particular is the day I decided I was going to be blind. My mom came into my room and I looked in her general direction and said, mommy, I'm going to be blind today. And I would hold my mom's hand and not open my eyes for the entire day. She had no idea what the crap was wrong with me. I would ram into stuff, fall downstairs. I would literally go outside and play with my friends in the middle of the street, completely blind. You know how dangerous this is? I could have got hit by a car. I could have gotten kidnapped, saved by some miracle, brought to the police station to identify the perp. And if they said, listen, you were the only kid to survive. This man has murdered thousands of people, stole all the money in the world, and will blow up everything in existence if you don't open your eyes and identify them right now. And I'd be like, I don't know, I'm blind today. Then there was the ball pit. When we were little, my mom and aunt bought me and my cousin a ball pit for us to play with. It was probably because they didn't want us to get pink eye like every other little kid that went to Chuck E. Cheese. And me being the little weirdo that I was, saw this as an opportunity. I would stash things inside of the ball pit, especially food. My mom would catch me eating something and think, wait, we haven't had lunch yet. She'd come up to me and say, hey, Sinandria. 
Hey, mama. What are you eating? Cheese pulps? Nandi, where did you get cheese pulps? We haven't eaten any in two weeks. <laughs> and I would burst out crying. My mom always knew when I was doing something bad because I'd immediately cry. I gave myself away like every time. And for five year old me, this was like being interrogated in a high security prison. On a crime, in my mind, I didn't even commit. She literally interrogated me until I told her where I got the food. And she looked in the ball pit and found all sorts of food in there. It was basically a mini fridge in there. She even found McDonald's pancakes in the pit. Who knows how long they've been in there, dude? And since I don't know how to end the video properly, I will leave you with this. Bye.